Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to briefly take you through our protection plugin. Uh, our server uses a plugin called Residence, uh, which you can certainly Google and find their wiki page and find you know, a full list of commands that you'll be able to use. Uh, but right off the bat I'll go ahead and show you just how to protect a plot. Uh, a plot is, uh, or a residence, is uh, just a cube selection that you make with a wooden shovel. And you can protect it, and basically it's got uh, different types of protection flags on it. By default, we have pretty much everything protected. Nobody can open doors or build or do anything like that. Um, so I will briefly go over that. There's much better tutorials on YouTube if you want to look at them, but this one's just going to quickly take you through everything uh, that you need to know to at least just quickly protect something. All right, so what you have to do is you have to select a cube, and I just uh, selected one corner of that with my... Uh, with my wooden shovel here. Actually, that's probably a bad corner because you can see I've got fences back there that stick out a little further and actually up here I've got a sign that's one block further out. So I'm going to grab this piece of ground here. Okay, and then also I've got uh, a wheat field back here which is even a block lower uh, that I might want to protect. Um, now typically Typically, uh, you want to select as tight as you can because it'll save you a lot of money. Uh, you can do a selection you know, from top to bottom, but that will cost you a lot more money to do. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stack up a bunch of dirt here so that I can get up to the, uh, get up to the area that I need. And we're almost there. I'm just going to do like three or four more. All right, now it was left click to select the first point. Now I'm just going to do right click to select the second point. So you can see I selected the two opposite corners, and that basically draws a cube around our whole our whole uh, setup here. Now, the moment I protect this, nobody else will be able to build here, open doors, do anything of that sort. Uh, but real quick, I'm going to do uh, one more command just to expand the selection one more down, because like I said, you know, if I protected it right now, people could technically destroy that very bottom row of of uh, blocks because my selection ended on the ground up above. Uh, so I'm going to do, I'm going to face downward, this is important, and do slash res select expand one. And there you go, expanding down. So it expanded one block down. You could do two or three more if you want. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do like three more blocks just for the heck of it. Um, okay, and now once I've got my box selected, I'm going to type slash res create guru 9898 house. Uh, the name cannot have you know, special characters or spaces. It's got to all be one word, uh, just alphanumeric. Uh, but then I hit enter, and you see, bam, charge 713 to my vault account. That's all it costs to protect this pretty large area. So you can see it's extremely cheap. Um, now, if you wanted to sort of do things a little bit easier, what you can do is uh, slash res select vert before you uh, create your protection and that will actually expand everything all the way to the highest block that can be built and the lowest block that can be built or more accurately to the highest and lowest block that I've set up in the, in the config but in mine I've, I've set it up to be very top and very bottom so that'll prevent people from you know building above your house or trying to dig under it and mine into it um, so that's kinda nice um, now if you've done that which uh, I'm not going to because it costs more money and I really have no reason to but uh, if you do do that um, just know that that works. It'll cost you a ton more money, though, uh, like seven thousand or so, versus the like what three hundred or however much it costs this time. Seven hundred thirteen, I guess. So it's about ten times as much money in this case to do that. So, but you can, uh, and you know how easy it is to get money on the server. So, so at this point, nobody else can be in here. Um, Residence is capable of many more things. I'm not going to go over them in this video. Uh, you can find plenty more videos online. Uh, maybe I'll link to one in the description that goes over. Uh, you can even set up uh, renting. You can set up uh, you know, multiple people being in one residence. You can set up uh, leasing uh, even so that people would have to you know, sort of pay once in a while to keep their land protected. Uh, but we actually don't have that enabled on our server because it's kind of lame. I think once you protect something, it should remain protected. Um, but yeah, uh, that, I think that's about it. Uh, if you do want to see you know, information about the residence that you're currently in, and you can see as soon as I enter this area, it gives me some information. But all you have to do is, all you have to do is type in uh, slash res info. 
and it'll tell you, you know, exactly what flags. So I have the ability to mess with any of my containers, light things on fire, use stuff, build, move around. Uh, but nobody else will have these. So nobody else can even, uh, well, they might be able to enter currently, but they won't be able to build or open doors even. So, yep, that is, uh, that's how Residence works. So hopefully this is useful for you guys. If you have any trouble, you know, just let me know and I'll try and, uh, get it sorted out. This is sort of the first time we've tried to do user controlled protection, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, and uh, one last thing is these um, these protection regions, they do show up on the uh, the dynamic map, so you can actually look and in, uh, in real time see what all is protected and if you've really set up your protection correctly, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this and hopefully this will stop even more of the griefing, even though we pretty much have no problem with that. But, uh, yeah. Have fun, you guys.